Yesterday was my first day experiencing homelessness and it's already changed the way I think. Today, my main goal is to earn enough money to give some away to people who actually need it as well as taking the time to ask these individuals what they've gone through and how we can help. But I have to make the most out of the day because I only have 14 hours left until it gets dark again. It's time to get up, get down this ladder quickly, and then we'll go from there. Okay, we did it. My legs aren't aching anymore. And it is the, just the best, most amazing feeling. The first thing we're gonna do today, go to the store and we're going to pick up trash. Yesterday I asked the manager of a local store if there was anything I could do to earn money. He ended up buying me five trash bags and said for each one that I fill up with trash in the local area, I get five dollars. This is my number one priority. Got the cart parked. What's up? Cause I don't have the trash pickup tool anymore from the you know, 24 hour picking a trash video. Cause now I gotta touch it all with my bare hands and some of them are located like right there in spiky bushes and stuff. So um, I found these two rods. They're, they're not much, but I could at least stab it and try and, you know, carry it into the trash bag instead of using my hands. And, and that, that could work. These big items are great cause they fill up the bag. Remember each bag, I get $5. This board is huge. And I'm gonna break it up and use it to like kind of scoop out some trash. And with my homemade rake, I was able to get a ton of trash out. Those two bags, this pile, that pile, this pile, and that pile. After about three hours of work, I managed to get all five bags completely filled with trash. I threw them away in the dumpster and then walked to the store to meet the manager. What's up, man? Go on. Yes, sir. Finish the job. Oh yeah? Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. And as if it wasn't already kind enough, he tipped me $15 for a total of 40. His one condition was that I give some of it away to help someone in need. It was really nice to hear how much he cared. So I decided that my next mission was to give away at least half of it. All right, well, unfortunately, we can't have you put your car in the dumpster pad. So she said I'm not allowed to park my cart there. I guess I'm gonna find a spot over here. Let's go eat some food. I was super fortunate to have bought all this food yesterday, but in order to eat it, I needed to go to a restaurant with utensils, which was about a 10 minute walk, and I wasn't able to take any of it for granted. It was a humbling thought to realize how good I have it at home. I feel so beaten, and I'm starting to like get insecure when I walk into places. Like, um, I feel less than, I just, I don't know, very insecure. I think these are free samples. Oh, it's really good, wow. My confidence is pretty much at an all-time low, and it scares me that it's only day two. So I just I just took a minute, really reassess my goals, because this video is not going anywhere near how I thought it was going to go. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be a lot easier than it is to one, get a job, two, make money, and even talk to people like, I thought it'd be easier than it is. There's also a quick point that I want to address. Some of you were saying that it's cheating to have cameras and nice clothes, and you're right if this challenge were about getting out of being homeless. But that's not at all what this series is about. This series is about putting yourself in someone else's shoes and making an effort to understand what they go through. You know, it's it's actually kind of crazy. The things we take for granted, you, you know, my, my phone, I never realized how much I use it and how important it is. The point is, there's just so much that I miss about my normal life that I never would have batted an eye for two days ago. For me, in three and a half days, I'm done. I get to go home my nice bed. I have it made right now. There's someone who doesn't know when that ends. And I couldn't imagine not knowing when this ended. And if you really wanna make a difference in somebody's life, check out the charity link to this video. Earlier in the day, I saw this lady walking around everywhere, and a couple hours later, our paths crossed again. And I decided to ask her if she would be willing to share her story. But what she said was completely unexpected. Oh, hey, excuse, excuse me. Um, do, do you mind if I talk to you just for one second? My name's Che, I'm a YouTuber, and I, I wanted to... Um, I, I make videos online um, about different experiences and, and people and just a wide range of things. I, I just noticed all day I've seen you walking around the streets. I, I just wanted to see, like, what's your story? What? Oh, my story. Oh, good. I'm 66 years old. Oh, oh. You sure you want to hear my story? I would, I would love to. Yes, ma'am. I walk up and down the road because in 20, January 2020, I had a stroke. I didn't want to accept it, and a few days later, God had me go to the hospital. Couldn't drive myself, so I asked a neighbor, and he took me. Sure enough, I had had a stroke. 
But then they found out the reason for the stroke. It was a tumor in my heart. So as a result, I ended up having heart surgery. I'm walking because I had a 1995 Toyota pickup truck, straight drive, and I wasn't strong enough to drive it. I don't have relatives here, so I have to walk to get everything I need. It's, it's been hard, but God has been so good because yeah. I, I prayed. I was like, Lord, I didn't want to live because I'm like, I'm 66, I'm single, nobody's going to take care of me. Well, God didn't pay me any attention because I wasn't expecting to come out of surgery. You know, I mean, it was, it was okay with me one, either way or the other. Still not believing I'm telling somebody about this, but yeah, I was, uh, that's what I went through. That's my story. I saw you today, and yeah. I, I saw you again earlier walking to the store. Uh, I had to talk to you because uh, mo most people don't uh, take the time to yeah. understand what what, what people, people are going go through. through. <laughs> well, thank you so, so much for sharing. Okay. I, I really okay. appreciate it. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, uh, is there anything you need? Well, you've already helped me because you just blessed me by wanting to listen. What was your name? My name is Rita. R -I -T -A. Rita. Very nice to meet you, Rita. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you so much. And God bless you, and you take care of yourself. You, okay? too. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. I'm pretty blown away. See, that's... Under normal circumstances, you know, I would have seen her walking by, and I'm going to be real with you here. I would have totally just prematurely judged her you know like wow you know go get a job get a car and that makes me really sad because she literally walks in the 95 degree heat on the road almost every day because she's not strong enough physically to drive her old pickup truck if I swear if I was Mr. Beast I would buy her car right now the point is is that you know if you just take a moment to, to get to know somebody, to just ask, you know, what's your story? You'll be amazed. After asking her about her story, it's just, I want to do so much more to help. I, I don't, I'm still like shooken up right now. I don't really know what to say. Oh, that's, that's, it, that's it. That's crazy, man. I just, I, I, I don't understand. Like, I wish I could help her, dude. Like, I thought this was gonna be a hard challenge, but it's turned into education and understanding and empathy and all these things. I never knew how hard it was for people in need like this. And it's so easy to drive them by in my car, put a quick label on them and that's it. My one hope after you're done watching this video isn't to donate, it's not to you know subscribe or whatever. It's to at least like when you see someone out there, you know, smoking a cigarette in the side of the street with the homeless sign, don't judge them right away. You know, think about it for a second. Think about what they could have had to go through. That's the one thing I really want you to take home from this video. But I gotta keep moving. After that, I wanted to see if there was anything else I could learn, but not everybody wanted to talk to me. The next man I walked up to was nice and he was willing to answer some questions, but understandably, he said I was wasting his time and I needed to go. How's it going? Then about a quarter mile down the road, I saw this man's sign that said he was a homeless veteran. I saw your sign, man. I want to be able to help. If you had to tell me, how can I make a difference like me? What would you tell me to do? Like, how live can I help? It. You gotta live it first to know how to really, honestly. You gotta live it, even if it's just for a week. Live that experience of actually being out here. The best thing to do is get out there and you know each individual and know how you can help them the most. And that really, truly really does make Somebody just handed you, you know what I'm saying, go get that ramp to make a hundred dollars. That, that's not really helping me. It's like I, ha I struggle actually giving money away to homeless people because, like, that's what I'm supposed to do. If I make a hundred dollars, I can't. I live minim minimally. So bucks, you you actually day. give people money? Yeah. That's that's amazing. They give it to me. It's amazing. How, how am I not supposed to give it? If, well, hey, you know, I, I've really enjoyed talking to you, and, and before before I head out, I, I know you're going to do something amazing with this. I really want you to take it. Wow, I'm going to feed somebody with it, I promise you that. Well, here, man, I really want you to take this. I know you're going to do amazing. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll try to. He said he collects money to give it away to other homeless people in need. I gave him a 20, but he gave me his last dollar. You know, he's, he's out there working to provide for people who have nothing when he's the one who doesn't have anything. 
Him and I talked for about 25 minutes and he explained to me that there are a bunch of people living in the trails not too far from there. Caleb even got them on camera after he left from filming me. After we said our goodbyes, I walked about a mile down the road to get to a coffee shop where I could get a glass of water and finish eating the pop tarts inside my bag and also process all the information I just learned. The day was winding down and I had one more thing left to do before I went to sleep buy a blanket. It's about time to head to bed, but before I do that, I would really like to, you know, buy a blanket. The reason why I picked up trash this morning, I think it's actually near impossible to sleep without a blanket. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, yes. <gasps> this one's 10 bucks. Oh my God, yes. Oh, I was so worried I wasn't gonna be able to afford it. Got ourselves a blanket. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to sleep tonight. That'd be great. I got a lot of healing to do. I don't want to be that YouTuber who gets emotional in his videos, but the people who have helped me so far in two days, it means so much. You know, like this air mattress, the opportunity to make money this morning and her and that woman's story, the man's story. Like my YouTube channel is still pretty new. You know, I've decided I want to do something big with it. Something huge, something that's going to improve people's lives. I don't want to cry on camera, but I feel like crying right now. I miss my family. That's my girlfriend. That's my. That's my. I'm working. It's hard being out here. <laughs> you know. You know. I'm just so grateful for what I have. I'm so grateful. <laughs>